and now coming to the finish line, put up my battle finger first place, and I won. I honestly, I could not believe it. Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Joey, and welcome back to another race analysis. Now this is from round six of the 2021 Cal Speed Super Series on the Grande counterclockwise layout. Now we haven't run this layout in a year and a half, so I had no idea how it was gonna be pace-wise. And considering I missed the sprint series on this layout due to it selling out, I was not expecting much. However, as you'll see, we're actually gonna have two videos from this race, because not only did I make the C main, I also made the B main, as you'll find out why. Well, to tell you why I made both, I ended up winning my very first race by taking P1 in the C main, but it wasn't a smooth road. In practice, I was fourth in my group and 29th overall, which actually, if that were to put you directly into a main, that would put me in the A main, surprisingly, and I did not expect to have that pace. However, in qualifying, I did not have a very good cart, and unfortunately, I was 57th overall. As a result, I started my first heat race in 24th, and then after getting caught up in a lap one incident where I spun someone out, I ended up falling back to 30th and then recovered to 23rd. So then in my second heat race, I ended up finishing in 18th, but with results like that, you're not going to make it into the B main because for the B main, you need to average in the top 20. So I ended up starting in the C main, but I ended up starting P5. Now pace wise, I knew I could definitely win the C main and I had never won a race at Cal Speed. I've had a second, I've had a third, but I've never had that magical P1. So I knew this was my only chance. So let's do it. So here we are on the grid and we're starting fifth. So I know here if I can get a good start, I definitely have potential at winning this race. As the guys revving the engine at Cal Speed, they do not like you to use the brake and the gas at the same time because you'll burn up the clutch on these carts. So we're waiting, waiting, finally go. This cart actually idled higher than most carts. So we actually get a really good start here. Push on the inside of cart number 30. Got Ayrton Senna bumping a lot with him. And so we're just gonna stay behind Ayrton Senna in cart 35. And he leaves a lot of room on the inside of the horseshoe here. So we're gonna take this position. Fortunately, we get on that curb there, which ends up pushing him wide. Bit of a dirty move for me. I didn't feel good about it, but nothing I can do at this point. So I'm hoping I get a penalty, but then again, I thought it's lap one. A lot of incidents are gonna happen. So right now we're into fourth. And as you can see, top four are pretty close. There's a lot of potential here in this race. I know I just gotta be smart, make overtakes where it counts, but most importantly, pull away from the back. Not gonna dive down the inside of the hairpin here because I had an incident earlier, as I mentioned. Also, I don't want anyone dive bombing me because this is my one race to win. I need to be very careful. I need to be very smart. Another thing about being in the C main is I don't necessarily trust a lot of these drivers. A lot of them go for these weird overtaking moves and it can be very chaotic at times. And like I said, last thing I wanna have is be in a crash here because I wanna win this race. Now, because I knew I was the quickest here, I just had to be smart with my pace. So here I definitely maybe could have looked for an overtake, but I'm gonna push on him to try to pull away from the guys behind. And we're looking, cart 44 is gonna take a look down the inside. Oh, there's someone in the tire wall and we're actually in the tire wall there. I point my finger, but let's take a look at what actually happened. So coming through here, everything's pretty normal. And all of a sudden, if you look at the leader up there, that cart ends up going through the tire wall. And so that cart's out of the race. But what ends up happening is as you can see, cart 44 carries a ton of speed and goes down the inside of me. Now turn one here, known as Short Beach, is a turn you actually get onto the throttle very late. It's a much slower corner than you think. Even though you know it every time, for some reason, it's just that way. As a result, he's gonna start understeering. That's gonna start pushing me wide, and I do not wanna end up in that tire wall or hit that cart. So I'm just trying to keep the cart on the track right here. And as you look, we're still getting pushed, and we actually do hit this tire wall. If you look at my front right, right here, boom, there's the front bumper, gets squeezed. And we actually managed to get through and we don't lose too much speed. I point my finger because I wasn't sure if that was penalty worthy or not. I just wanted to make sure the stewards were able to see it just in case. Turns out he's actually going to get a penalty later on for a completely separate incident. But I point again. We gained a position, but then we lost a position. So we're still in P4. And again, everyone's really close. So I'm not worried at this point. What I am hoping for, because I can tell cart 44 is very aggressive, is that he's going to be a torpedo and take out some other carts for me. Being this is the C main, that can definitely happen. I defend the inside again because I don't trust C-Main drivers. They are crazy. Card 44 looks for a move there, pulls back in, and then he goes for to look for a move again. A bit confused by his strategy, but we get a better exit. Now we're right on him. Gonna give him a little push right here through the horseshoe and just try to catch those front two guys. As you can see, it's getting very close. Somehow we get a better exit through there and I'm actually wheel to wheel with him here. But again, I'm not overtaking a Contino because I can be pushed way wide where there's no rubber and no grip. And also, as you can see there, this cart did not like turning left. And if you can't adapt to a cart that's gonna turn left well, and you end up in a situation that's not ideal, it's not gonna be good. Now behind us, we've actually pulled a really good gap. So we can actually start racing. 
But again, I wanna be smart here. 44 goes for a move down the inside. They go all the way off the track. And then this is the crazy part. Look at card 44, completely off the track, goes in between this tire wall right here, and then jumps the curb. And he actually gets by card 43. Now I know he has a penalty at this point because there's a rule at Cal Speed. I've been known for this to happen to me once, happened last year, where if you gain a position or hold a position by going off track, you will get a penalty. So you always have to lose a position because he gained there, I know I'm in good hands and he's gonna get a penalty. We get by cart 43, so that puts us in P3, now up into the podium spots. I'm gonna give cart 44 a good push here. A little more speed, completely misjudges the corner and goes way off. And then for the bypass section, I'm gonna let him have the inside because again, I know he has a penalty coming. Get a better exit through here. I'm just gonna square myself up, make sure I can get that better run down the straightaway. And they're holding out the pit board there. Very hard to tell, it says number 44. Bangs his steering wheel in frustration. Now we go down the inside. He looks to fight back and then ends up too wide and oversteers. So now we're up into second and I can look ahead of me. And we got a decent gap to the guy in first, but I know because pace wise, I have an advantage and because this is still pretty early on in the race, it's definitely doable. So I just gotta keep my head down and just keep putting in those good laps. So this is now two laps later. We're really starting to catch cart number 30. Again, I don't know why he leaves all this room on the horseshoe. I'm just gonna go for it. Gonna use all that curb and we push him there. And again, I don't want to risk anything because this is my only chance of winning. So I give the spot back just in case of contact and getting a penalty. Do I think I would have got a penalty if I held the position? Actually, looking at this footage, I don't think I would have. But again, better safe than sorry. And because I, this is still early on in the race and I have a pace advantage, I'm not worried. Had this been the last lap, I definitely would have kept the position regardless of if I would have had a penalty or not. Not going to make a move with the hairpin here but we're getting super close. Going up the hill, I'm starting to catch him. Other important thing, I'm gonna to start to get the draft effect soon. So that's gonna be very important. And also if we look behind us, there's nobody. So we can truly battle this one out. And you can see right on the back of cart number 30. So the move's gonna happen. I'm not gonna make it into bypass. I hate overtaking there. It's slippery and if it goes wrong, you're gonna be screwed on the straightaway. And here we go. Straightaway is gonna to start to move over to defend, but I'm just gonna commit all the way. Gonna go down his inside, and we get the move done. A lot of understeer there for me. I actually don't get a good exit. Then he ends up hitting me there on the rear because he gets a better exit, but he's got nowhere to go. I told him to bump draft me. As you can see, those back guys are pulling up, and I'm now in the lead here. So from this point, I know I just gotta put in really good laps, and this race is mine. And we end up actually leading every single lap till the end here, which is for six consistent laps. So at this point, I'm still saying to Bob Trapp because I don't know how close he is. I only look back, I think, twice in this race. When you're in the lead, the whole idea, just stay calm and put in qualifying laps. Of course, if you have a big lead, you want to be really careful, but I had no idea how big my lead is. And you can see his rear bumper there starting to get close. So we're now going to cut to the last lap as I come to take my very first win. So finally, there's the white flag. And this whole time, my lap counter and the steering wheel actually didn't work. If you look down, you can see it's just completely gray. There's nothing. So as a result, I had no idea what lap I was on. And I was just like, is this the white flag? Is this the white flag? Is this the white flag? Because in all honesty, I was just guessing at this point. So I just keep my head down. One more lap to go. This is it. And I look behind me. Actually, I don't look behind me. I look behind on the camera here. And as you can see, they're nowhere near me. I've got a pretty good gap here. And they're all battling it out, which is great for my situation. And now this is the last lap. I just got to make it to the finish line and boom, I'll have my very first win and I'll be in the B main, which I wanted to be in in the first place. So here we are, turn four hairpin. Again, no one near me. They're starting to catch, but it's way too late. If you bypass the last potential overtaking spot, if you really wanted to, get super close to that wall, cart bounces a bunch. Final turn and there we go. We are now coming to the finish line, put up my battle thing finger first place and I won. I honestly, I could not believe it. I've never won a race here before and it felt incredible. So now we're actually gonna cut to the podium where you can see my extra. And of course, when you win at Cal Speed, you get a first place trophy. So my first ever proper trophy. So let's cut to there. Well, there we go. As you can see, I'm on the podium, I'm on the top. I actually won. Usually these races don't go well for me, but for once the race actually did go well and everything played in my favor. So. I'm speechless to be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. As always, I'm Joey, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.